Ellis. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to mod Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. So first thing we're going to need to do is go to the desktop. Here we are. So we're in our desktop and this folder you will not have yet, but I'll show you where to download that. If we browser, I'll leave a link in the description. But you're going to want to download the BDSP randomizer. So to get there, I'll go back. You'll get you'll get to a location like this. You just want to scroll down, click download, and then from here it's going to take you to another page. You want to download the most recent one. So for me that was seven days ago, but you want to do the one that is the least amount of days. So two months is a little bit later than two, seven days. So you definitely want to get the most recent one. So download that one, and then from here what I did is I just threw it to my desktop in a folder. I just named it BDSP Randomizer and kept it there. So once we do that, we can close out. Sweet. So we're going to need to open up Yuzu next. So let's open that up. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to right click Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl. And we're going to want to dump rock. Do the full thing. And we'll let the whole extraction occur. So it's just going to take a little bit for it to fully extract. Might be a minute or two. Uh, yeah, so the way for this process to work, you will need um, some sort of Yuzu installation because you need to dump the ROM and be able to access the files inside of it. So even if you want to do this on your Switch, you will need a Yuzu in some sort of capacity just to be able to do this. So keep that in mind, but this should be able to work on Switch. So we're extracting the ROMs and taking them into the operation completed successfully. Wonderful. So here we go, it shows where our uh, ROMs was just dumped, it, it was just dumped right here. So what we're going to want to do next, we're going to open up the BDSP randomizer. What we're going to want to do is pretty simple, we're just going to drag the ROMs folder here. It'll take a little bit, but moved it. Wonderful. So now we're going to click on main. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting you, but... If this video has been helping you in any sort of way, uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Anyway, sorry, a little interruption. Back to the video. So from here, what we're going to want to do is click on Randomize Starters Pokemon. This is where you get to choose all your customization on. So, for the sake of this, I'm just going to click on all of them so it'll work. And then, 60 FPS mod, why not? You want to make your game run a little bit smoother. And from here, what you're going to want to do is click on Let's Go, which means finish up. But so you now you need to click on the loca location where your ROMs is. But luckily we uh, put that in uh, the folder, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. So click select folder on ROMs. Give it a second; it might load for a little bit. And awesome! See, it should say randomizing evolutions. Everything's saved. So here we can close out of this. So what we're gonna want to do now is we're gonna want to open up uh, Yuzu again and do open mod data location. And then we're going to go back to our mod folder here. Yes, right here. I'm going to open this back up, go to mods. And then we're just going to make two folders. For the sake of this, we'll make it easy. Call it starters. Another one called randomizer. So randomizer, you want to put the romps folder into. So we'll show that off now. Romps, then the randomizer folder. And then execs go into the starters folder, OK? So that's what we're going to do. Put those in there close out and then if we close out of this and we go to properties i shouldn't have been mistaken here we are so you see randomized randomizer and starter so you can click on these uncheck them but now that they're checked off that means it should be working so guys thank you so much for watching today if the video helped you out again don't forget to leave a like subscribe and ring that notification bell i appreciate all the support you guys have been giving on these videos anyways guys i'll see you later peace